guys, let's make some curry fish and shrimp using just a few simple ingredients. guys now let's take a quick look at the ingredients for our curry fish and shrimp here i have about half pound a large shrimp and i have one snapper fillet red snapper and i have some potatoes i'll be using some tomatoes i have habanero peppers thyme onions scallions and parsley i have garlic and ginger some chicken bouillon complete seasoning seasoned salt black pepper i have curry powder garam masala and some jeera let's get into the recipe so let's go ahead and season our fish and shrimp. Here I'll add a tablespoon of green seasoning and then I'll go in with some fish seasoning, a little bit of Old Bay and some black pepper. Very simple. Now I came up with doing this because we have a storm outside. It's rainy, like hard winds and I can't go to the store right now. So I just went into my fridge and looked for whatever I had in there. I saw the fish fillet and the shrimp and I said, you know what, I'm gonna cook sh curry shrimp and fish. This is just for me and my daughter. So it's just enough. So this is how I came up with this. And I just say, you know what, I'm bored and let me just bring you guys in the kitchen. So once everything is well marinated, we will allow it to rest for about 30 minutes and then we'll move on to the next step. Next, we'll go ahead and fry the fish. So I added some oil to my skillet and I coat the fish in a little bit of cornstarch. So we'll add the fish to the oil and allow it to fry until it's nice and golden brown. Then we'll flip it over to the other side and allow it to brown and then we'll remove it and set it aside. Now, some people might be wondering how I get three pieces of fish. Is that one piece of fish I cut into three? So there you have it. Now let's prepare our curry sauce to a skillet with some oil. I will add my curry powders and the spices. I did mix them into a paste before, you know, adding it. And we'll allow this to go for about two to three minutes. After about two to three minutes, we'll add our garlic and ginger and the onions. Give it a good stir and allow those to go for about two minutes. Once the curry is thoroughly cooked, we'll move on to the next step. Next, we'll add our potatoes and the tomatoes. Give them a good stir and allow them to go for about two to three minutes. So at this point, we'll now add some hot water and look what I found. I went into the fridge and I found some coconut milk that I had left over from a previous dish. So we're gonna add this coconut milk here. It's about half a cup and we will Add our seasonings, make sure that this is nice and flavorful. You want to taste it, make sure it suits your own liking. Then we'll add our thyme and our peppers, cover and let it simmer until the potatoes are nice and tender. And the last and final step. You want to add the shrimp in here because it's not a lot of shrimp we're going to add it in raw we'll add our shrimp then we'll add the fish into the gravy we will make sure it's nicely coated and we will cover this and allow it to cook for about four to five minutes on medium to low heat And lastly, add your fresh scallions and parsley. And that's it guys, we're all done. Now we can turn the heat off and get ready to plate up. So I did play this up with some fresh jasmine rice and dal on the side. And let me tell you, it was mouth-watering delicious. Look at that fish. 
perfect texture. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for your girl. I will leave all the ingredients I use in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time.